Pier 27 and we're going to Pier 39 so it's quite a walk right yeah but a ways. right now we're really seeing each other again after living in Arizona last three years ago I can't believe it and, only and three years it ago it was such an experience because Liz can tell you the story that we had to live with right we're basically, and we ended up in Arizona, northeastern Arizona, close to the Navajo Reservation, isolated from our families, yeah, and isolated from everybody in our life. And there's a story there. Right? What caused that? And we have all kinds of experiences living with someone who was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. And to some people it's a diagnosis but it's really living with pure evil yeah it's demonic yeah that's what it was it's demonic i it, mean one of the instances in that um this would tell you that this wicked witch that we were living with who's actually my ex-wife had um a, had a condition that was um, full of craziness, right? manipulative, um, and they she knows exactly how to make you think about everything else to get away with what something doing. that she's doing. And just a disclaimer, it wasn't even her disorder that made her act like that. It is her choices to be evil. She was choosing to be evil and I don't even know how she made such a satanic spawn of energy yeah. and like threw it at us. Exactly. I mean, part of the thing too is she manipulated us to be isolated with the family and I don't know how I got into that. Yeah, um, she did completely tear so us apart. Just to put it in context, right? The closest person to us <laughs> when we were in that place was probably 30 minutes away 40 huh 40 yeah, yeah 40 like like there was away. no target there was no the closest grocery store was 40 minutes yeah at least 35 minutes away yeah and it's driving it's not yeah. walking yeah. um you couldn't walk and like if you didn't have a car and you didn't have food you would die yeah and and the place is so isolated the roads to get into that are so bad it's like yeah off road dirt roads like right? flood you have to go through floods and when it rains it just destroys the whole yeah, yeah. the whole road right and so you're trapped yeah you're trapped during the monsoon season you're trapped during the winter yeah you're just yeah it's perfect and she had full control of yeah how she can manipulate us it was so scary like yeah and you right. never know what she's going to pull next yep because it's, it's something crazy and so liz was well, liz um left that place probably like six months before me because she found out that she was lacing our food with all kinds of drugs you know? for me it's, for me i didn't figure it out because i was busy thinking about everything else and she kept my mind busy and, yeah so right? she actually so the way that i found out that she was lacing us and i tried to tell him and uh my tito and he didn't and we got actually didn't talk for years because he didn't believe me because he was being abused by her so bad and he just didn't believe me but um basically i was i was laced with viagra um i went to bed and i was sitting there and i realized that well i assume it was viagra or an off brand of it i was sitting there and i realized that my hands were getting really big and then they were getting really small and then i couldn't i really needed to pee all of a sudden but i couldn't feel like my lower extremities and then i started like kind of yelling for help and she didn't come 
she didn't and I and I don't know maybe she didn't hear me and I just so I just went to sleep then on the next day I went to school and I didn't say anything because I was trying to figure out was it you know was it my my foster parents was it um someone did someone break in like and where did it even come from and I did so I just didn't say anything and I went to school when I came back home from school I said um okay why did you lace me with Viagra what ha what, what happened what what did you do to me and she just looked at me and she did with and she made her eyes very big and she just started blatantly lying and saying I don't know what you're talking about and I was like okay then let's go home right now and let's check the you know what I thought that she put the Viagra in so I was like let's check yeah. and so when we went I started to check I couldn't see like anything too um, eye-catching and then she grabbed it and threw it in the fire before I could confirm that there was nothing wrong with it um, if someone I don't know basically if someone lays your child you should try to figure out what is going on instead she threw it away and at which point I was like I I would just hated her I never wanted anything to do with her again and I was just like just get me a plane ticket and send me home because there was no excuse to lace me mm -hmm. there was no excuse to um, not say what you did to hide it mm -hmm. if you were punishing me like you should she should have said it mm -hmm. she should have said what I was in trouble for she did it mm -hmm. and then and if when I asked about it she should have respected me and tried to get to the bottom of it but instead she chose to be a psychopath gaslight me act like she didn't do anything lie I had no idea what was happening to me wow it was it wasn't safe like so I just left yeah and when that was happening I my mind was like numb if that makes any sense right I wasn't really reacting to anything and keep in mind, in mind she wasn't feeding us she was yeah so it's we true. were really slow like right. our brains we were only yeah we were um, only eating like once a day once a day at a restaurant <laughs> yeah with like 40 miles away from where we were yeah right? super far to get there and super far on the way back and we didn't have a refrigerator so we were not saving our leftovers um so yeah our brains were going yeah we were pretty that, low not on only sugars that she was creating so much drama yeah that your mind is busy yeah trying to figure out where the next drama is yeah you know when there's drama she would try to threaten to kill herself yeah she would she would drain your calories completely i've never seen someone do something like that she would cause so much drama right that you had to use all your energy to navigate through right, to and navigate then she would do the like these little tantrums little, yeah but little no, actually things. big tantrums yeah big several tantrums to just to just completely demobilize complete, you yeah demobilize you yeah right? because it's like you're so busy thinking about surviving yeah right? how do you not get a a drama because when there's drama that pops up it just it takes everything out of you yeah and she's very good on controlling that yeah so on my point point during that time i was like so so numb in the head that i wasn't even hearing what lizzie lizzie was saying yeah and i can tell that he wanted to and she lit because he was he wanted to know like what i was saying and stuff like he's like wait like what what is going on uh yeah. but he was but getting mad what i was saying because what i said sounded so disrespectful like i was saying like you know someone had, one of you guys had laced me with my eyebrow and he, they, you know he was taking good care of me and giving me this life that i didn't have and oh yeah Pause it. Pause it. and then i'm gonna go on the double decker buses which is a really big accomplishment because when i was homeless when i was like 15 and younger and stuff i remember going being on those i used to be getting on those little buses those little dirty buses <laughs> and um traveling around on those and it's like i can't wait until i'm a tourist here and on the double decker on the double yeah decker. because i hated being like on the streets doing nothing 
Like I felt so out of alignment. Oh look, feel the Holy Spirit. Know Jesus' is love, find eternal peace in the Father above. Yeah, so two, making it in life. <laughs> but yeah. So going back to the story, what made me believe is that I also experienced the same thing. Oh wait, but before you did, okay, before you did, I left because you wouldn't believe me. You wouldn't believe me and she was being evil. And yeah. I was like, I don't want to leave you, but I, I, I have to protect you have myself because yeah. you, can, you, you don't to see go. it yet. Right. So, and I was, uh, yeah. well, how did you see me when you were telling me that you were... I that? could tell, I knew that there was no way I was going to get through to you because you were too manipulated by her. You were too much in her web. Like yeah. she, she had, um, she was lying. There was lying, there was like demonic energy going on. And I knew I, I wasn't strong enough or knowledgeable enough to fight it. So... I just gave up. I was just like, just I need a plane ticket and then I'll just leave. So that's what I did. Yeah, and that's the thing, right? It's like you get so busy thinking about other things and I was being manipulated without even knowing that I was manipulated. <laughs> but people from the outside looking in sees it and they can't believe that I'm just not even thinking about anything else. It's like a shell an empty shell yeah right, because you st yeah it steals yeah. all of that that manipulation steals you from yourself and now you're just a product of the abusive situation yeah. and that's how it works it is it's almost similar to you know what remind what remind reminded me that this was similar to what will smith yeah how manipulate how manipulated he is yeah by and, jada and just looking at that, I saw myself actually like, boy, that was me, right? Yeah. One look from this wicked witch and off I go, right? Yeah. It's like yeah. just, and the reason why is because you don't want trouble. Yeah, and you, and you also know? men are, support, are taught to respect women, Yeah. but a lot of women are evil, doing yeah. evil stuff. Yeah. And yeah, and it's like, it needs to be talked about. So, so Liz left and I was still shocked trying to figure out, but then how i found out that that she was really doing this is a few months later the same thing happened to me you know uh she was basically uh at that stage of um what do you call that that being thrown away what do you, there's a term like she was scared of being thrown away? No, or? me. Like she was. Uh, oh, she was getting ready to dispose you. Dispose me. Yeah, she was. She was on that disposal yeah. mode, right? Yeah. Because, you know, and it goes back to where we first met, how we started, right? How I ended up getting married, like three months after we first met, yeah. which is like so impossible. But that's how good this type of manipulation. Yeah. It's just amazing how, how and it's, it's it's really hard to believe that some people can do that. Yeah, it's so right? disgusting cuz you really married her and yeah, you really, really gave her, her everything. I really married her and, and I thought I thought she was the perfect person we were very compatible. Right? Yeah, um, you genuinely thought that. And yeah, she genuinely gen made you to believe it. Yeah. Because yeah. But, but what what these people do, what this type of people do? They try to really mimic how you are so that you would really say, wow, we're soulmates, right? We're soulmates, we're, we're soulmates. It's like we're compatible, There's but layer by layer, you realize that, hey, everything was an act from the very beginning, but you don't see that until, until you get through the whole motion of being disposed, right? Uh -huh. Because there's no need anymore. Yeah. So we'll get to that story. Um, stay tuned.